It's Sandlot and Goonies. That was a battle. Yeah, it was a battle. It's called Right and Wrong. Sandlot. Sandlot. Right? Our generation. Sandlot is a good movie, but it is not the Goonies, goddammit. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. How do you feel? Nauseous. We're starting on new designs. We're redoing, tearing down the icon room of Statesville, the warden's room, the room we have had from day one and the room that we will always have. We always kept the warden's room and the rules room the same and added little changes in. This is a completely gut and redesign of the premise of the Statesville home. You yeah, gotta see his vision. Well, standing over there. The warden used to be a guy standing on a box with some collagens behind him to blind the audience so they couldn't see how bad everything was. Now we're putting $60,000 into that room. We've increased the size of the wardens by 20%. Not 20% for the audience to stand in there. You're still crammed in there like sardines. Instead of just having one big thing and he flies, we're gonna have a series of things. We have the drop bodies that are going up. They stand up and then they fall over. The entire floor that this audience stands on moves up, down, and drop. From here, you can see all the way back. See the prison cells on the bottom, the prison cells on the top. He, he wanted to experiment with these vistas. You know, so you see a lot of the room, but you're still disoriented because you're switching and changing directions. Uh, I want you to be able to see two rooms away, but not see what's coming after you in those rooms. You have to see inside John's head. You don't want to do that. You don't want to get in there. It's like June 6th. That's horrible. That's really, really late to start your build. Just with us traveling so much, doing all the different conventions, it's pushed our build farther back. We got a really great crew running right now. We got talented builders, talented people with lights, talented people with sound. Everybody love everybody! Yeah. You and your love. Well, we all know what Kyle does because he's always being yelled at for it. Trying not to f up. Can we all hold our banter against Kyle? Drafter and designer and kind of the architect of everything and try to run the crew best of my ability. You can do this one, I'll trade you. <laughs> Everyone leaves their shit over here. Hi, world. Yeah. Hey, pal. Bobby is one of my head builders. Uh, Bobby also runs like the tool shop, make sure everyone, everything is fit, everything is tight. I'm just glad to be a part of this crew. Everybody's pretty loud and boisterous, and it might sound like we hate each other, but we're actually having a great time doing this. Remember how I said I liked everybody on the crew? I hate Kyle, I hate Gimlick, I hate Matt, I hate George, I hate Chaka. Johnny's okay. You hate me? I heard you say you hate me, you Then you got Gimlick, uh, who, I mean, I, the professor. Gimlick is the cranky uncle on the crew. Right? Mike's a jerk. It's break time, Mike. We love him. This should be on the same plane. That's all I'm saying. However you want to do it, can do it. Just don't go throwing shit up and popping shit in the ground. That's all I'm saying. Gimlick works at like Steppenwolf or Ofra. You know, he knows what he's doing. That's name dropping bullshit. I don't like it. That's why I don't like. That's why I don't like LA. He's always bitching about something, but I love that he does. Chaka, get a mic on that. And then there's Chaka, Chaka who came in is kind of like the bitch. We made him work for Mike Gimlick for a whole summer. It looks like he's gonna have a breakdown over here. Now Chaka has moved into lights and sound. And now, wow, wow is his ego huge. I got a sound guy. I got a sound guy. It's not me, I'm not doing it. I'm bringing somebody else in. Kind of like Riot starting to hear the crowds like cheering like everyone's out. Stalker is, is back full time on the crew. He's been gone for a couple years full time. He volunteered his way back on. We had a little tiff that happened a couple years ago. The end of the money showed up, but the job wasn't finished. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Dana, Dan, and Rebel are mad at me. But Jeff earned his way back on this crew, and I respect him for doing it, and I love having him here. Feels good to be back with all my guys. Then you got Matt and George. Matt's got a real idea, you ass clowns. I started working here years ago as an actor. I was just here because he was here. Both of them are very quiet, and both of them are just all kick ass. They can build. They're almost never on time, though. They consider lunch on time. So Teresa brings up a good point. How do you blow a scare? Is that anything like busting a nut? If you think the carpenters are late, you should see the painter's schedule. You hardly know they're there because they're disappeared somewhere painting something. Well, in there, they had all the saws, so like all the sawdust would get in my paint, and the lighting was fluorescent, so everything kind of looked like had like a green cast over it. The only reason you know Teresa's here is because she usually leaves little piles of food around. 
I love her. Treat. Anyone else need screws? No one's gotten hurt yet. We are cutting on the table saw about a quarter inch off a piece of wood. So there's a little quarter inch strip. Turn the saw, the blade still spins to slow down. Before the saw blade stopped running, I broke it off and it hit the saw blade, spun around, shot right at his d right, in the d right into my nuts. So, what's the condition of the d right here? I have, I have one ball that's bigger than the other. He's all right. I'm still getting some screws thrown at me and I'm back at him. So he's not, he didn't forget about it yet. I, I don't like reworking something. And we're always reworking something. So do I like the job? Yes and no. <laughs> now I'm designing uh, the wall we're about to lay out. I'm making sure all their measurements are right. I'm trying to get them all their centers and all their cuts so they can put it up real fast. Whoa, 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 whoa! Kyle! What's going on? We got a big problem. This wall seems to be missing maybe a foot of its length. Right now Kyle is panicking. Is it supposed to have a six inch gap in between? Six inches too big and what's her opening over here? It's because six inches too small. So the center isn't center. God damn grateful we didn't put redheads in the ground. <laughs> we did just shoot. Well, we probably lost two to three hours of labor. So right now, just do the whole thing over again. Measure your center twice before you start building a whole room around it. And Kyle, Kyle, yeah. it's your job to confirm that whatever you have on paper is actually in real life. I blame you. Day one and I already swollen ball sack, so. Can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Days of the Living Dead is brought to you by Trans World Halloween and Attraction Show, bringing you the most exhibitors and best industry related products for the last two decades at haashow.com. Halloween Extreme, the only Halloween prop and effect trade show open to the public at HalloweenExtreme.com. And Legendary Haunt Tour. Experience world-class, state-of-the-art haunted attractions from behind the scenes while networking with fellow haunters from across the country at LegendaryHauntTour.com.